I'm Thomas with Chronage24, and this is Short on Time. Let's take a look at Rolex. The watch industry would not be what it is today without Rolex. It's the first brand people think of when they think of a nice watch. Rolex created the first waterproof watch, they debuted the first automatic watch, and they set the blueprint for the stainless steel sports watch which dominates the market today. The brand is synonymous with dependability and prestige, and they've been on the wrists of the bold and the beautiful for as long as anyone can remember. You know you've made it in life when you own a Rolex. Rolex made a name for itself by outfitting professional adventurers across many disciplines. Now this video is too short to cover even a fraction of the brand's history, so here's a quick rundown of the who's who and their steel sports lineup. You have the Submariner for divers, the Daytona for racers, the GMT for pilots, the Milgauss for scientists, and the Explorer for mountaineers. Not to mention the brand also has dress hero models like the Datejust and the Daydate for everyday wear. Each of these models has only grown more collectible over time, so as the saying goes, the best time to buy a Rolex is yesterday. Okay, now here's the tricky part. At retail price, Rolex is sell for roughly seven to $17,000 on average, depending on the model. And of course, there are certain references that sell for much more, even at retail. But as many people know, you can't just walk into a store and buy one. The wait lists for these watches from authorized dealers are months, if not years long. And the secondary market prices go way above what's listed on the Rolex website. This is a simple example of supply and demand. Now, by that I mean the company only makes a certain amount of watches per year, and for better or for worse, every watch that comes out of the factory has a long line of people waiting to buy it. So your chances of getting one are low unless your bank account is high. In terms of brand perception, what else is there to say that hasn't already been said? Rolex is king and they're the number one brand all around where popularity meets prestige. To many, they're the most exciting brand on earth. But to others, they feel that their resistance to change makes them a little boring. After all, their watches remain largely the same from decade to decade, and they're not ones to include complications like tourbillons or minute repeaters in their watches. Now, a lesson that many seasoned collectors will share is that before you know anything, you know what Rolex is. Then, as you learn a little bit more, you find out that there are other watches that are more expensive and even more impressive than Rolex. Maybe you even vowed to never buy one. But as time goes on, you understand why the brand has the reputation that it does, and even why those seasoned collectors who have seen everything own a Rolex. Simply put, it's a bucket list brand that every enthusiast should own at some point. I'm Thomas of Chronage24. We will have more videos coming to the channel all the time, so be sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment below, and in the meantime, enjoy your watches.